Sup sup everyone and welcome to episode 12 of my Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play. Last episode we took down Team Rocket in their hideout and obtained the self scope to use at the Pokemon Tower, which will be what we are about to explore. Before that I did a little bit of off screening training with our Jolteon, and congrats to Dark Kingboy for winning the name Jolteon challenge with the name Usain Bolt. I decided to just go with Usain because it's a little bit shorter and easier to remember. Welcome Usain. Now it's time to hop into Pokemon Tower. Pokemon Tower is, you know, kind of like a morning place for, for Pokemon, kind of like a, a graveyard, if you will. So this is going to be a very somber place, a bunch of sad stories, but we're going to kick it off right here with a rival battle with Craig. Hey, Timmy B, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. So we're going to hop into another rival battle with Craig right here. He will have five Pokemon now, so his team is getting a little bit bigger and a little bit more stronger. He's going to start off with his Pidgeotto, as always, at level 25. It will know Gust, Sand Attack, Quick Attack, and Whirlwind. Luckily, now that we have Usain, Shockwave is going to take it down in one hit, even after getting hit with a Quick Attack here. At least it should. Yep. It's super effective, and that should get you saying up to level 29 with 604 experience. Yes, it does. Look at that. Look at that special attack. 72. That's amazing. Next up will be his Gyarados. Gyarados will be level 22. It will know Thrash, Tackle, and Bite. It's going to lower our attack with Intimidate. Luckily, Shockwave is super duper effective against our Gyarados being water and flying, so it's quad weak, so we call it super duper effective. And it'll take it down in one hit, and that should probably be the end for Usain in this battle. Next up will be his Execute. It's a grass psychic type, so we'll just get Spike to uh, peck it down. This will be level 23, and it will know the attacks Barrage, Hypnosis, Leech Seed, and Confusion. This could get to a little bit of a problem if it does put us to sleep right here and then does use Psychic. However, it's going to set up Reflect, which I must have read it wrong. I thought he had Barrage, Hypnosis, Leech Sheet, and Confusion. Anyways, he has Reflect, which raises defense, which is why we didn't take it down. And now we are asleep. So if he uses Confusion a couple of times, it could take us down because it is super effective. Like you're going to see right here. Let's see how much damage it does actually. Okay, so we just need to wake up in the next turn or two, and we just woke up. Way to go, Spike. That'll take it down easy. Now he has two Pokemon left. Uh, he'll probably send out Kadabra next. Yeah, Kadabra is going to be level 20. It's going to be a, a little weakling. And it's going to know Teleport, Confusion, Disable, and Kinesis, at least according to, to what I saw. But obviously, Execute had... Um, What's his face? Why did I leech seed it? Oh, God. Uh, Execute was distracting me a little bit, but yeah, he didn't have Reflect, so this won't be a problem. One Rage Relief is going to take this down. Kinesis lowers our accuracy, so as long as we hit the Rage Relief, we should be fine, but we do uh, take down a little HP with Leech Seed. And Rage Relief will hit, and next up will be Charmeleon after Kadabra goes down. Charmeleon is going to be level 25 and pretty much the same attacks as before. It's going to have Ground, Ember, Leer, and Range, but with Spike, one dig will take it down. This will probably be the easiest rival battle that we have. Uh, we have a couple of more lined up in this run through that are going to be more difficult each and every time. So the next time we see Craig, he's going to be a Pretty much a little bit more stronger and more difficult to beat. Um, but with our team in place, I trust ourselves to beat him. Um, unless we get to 100 subscribers, right now at recording, I have 30. So if we do get to 100, you know, tell all your friends, tell your parents, your grandmothers, your dog to subscribe to the channel. Or cat, if you're a cat person. Comment which one are you, dog or cat. How's your Pokédex coming along? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got too a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. But yeah, anyways, I was saying we're at 30 out of 100 subscribers, so we're 30% of the way, but we're not there yet. So if we do get to 100, you guys can choose the final member of the team. So tell your mom, dad, brother, sister, cat, dog, fish to all subscribe, even your grandparents. 
Even we could not identify the wayward ghost. A sylphscope might be able to unmask them. Oh, this'll be fun. Give me a second to pull up a map. Okay, and I have the map up right here. I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, some repels. That way we can avoid Pokemon. There are going to be some trainers that we will be battling, as well as some wild Pokemon. Um, but hopefully this map will guide us. I think we do have to battle you, battle you, excuse me, so I'll just see you on the other side of this battle. That was an easy battle. She just had one Ghastly, and let's see if I got this right. Uh... There we go. There's the stairs. And uh, now that takes us to the fourth floor of Pokemon Tower. Let me just look at my map to see which way we need to go. I guess there are a couple of ways. Let's see. Let's get this item right here. We got an elixir. That is awesome. And I believe that's a dead end. Yeah, so we need to go this way. This is kind of like me trying to find an item, but... We should be good. Can we get this item? Nope. Alrighty. Let's battle you. See you on the other side. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to use an escape rope to get out. I did battle the other trainers here and pick up the items. They were an awakening and a great ball, as well as the elixir. But I finally found the stairs so we can go up to the next floor. This one will be a little bit easier to maneuver, hopefully. Um, let's see if we go up here. And we don't need to battle you. This is a purity circle, um, so it heals all of our Pokemon. And we pick up this item, which is a cleanse tag, which is a great item to have. And let me just take a look at the map. And it looks like we should be good to go for, for mostly the rest of this. We do have to battle you, so I will see you on the other side. And we took her down, no problem. Uh, Usain actually got to level 30 in the battle and learned the move Double Kick, which is, you know, a pretty decent move for Usain. It's not a physical attacker, so that's the only issue, and luckily we found the stairs. Great. Uh, let me just take a quick peek at the map. Okay, looks like we will have to battle a couple of trainers, but this will be a good time to go over the Pokemon that we can catch here. The first one will be a Ghastly, who I believe we'll be seeing in just a second, yes. So Ghastly is a ghost poison type, it's actually not bad. For a first form evolution, it has pretty good special attack and a pretty decent speed, however everything else is kind of bad. Ghastly will then evolve into Haunter, which you can also catch here at a much lower rate. Haunter is basically the same as Ghastly in just an evolution form. It's going to, you know, have great special attack, great speed, but before everything else. And then if you trade Haunter and, you know, get him back, it will evolve into a Gengar. Gengar is a super strong Pokemon. Alright, let's make my way through the map. Gengar is a super strong Pokemon. Uh, it's basically going to be the same. Great special attack, great speed. However, everything else is a little bit more average. So it's good to have on your team, but like the other Pokemon that we've talked about where you need to make, to make trades, you're going to have to pretty much just go through Haunter and, you know, you just have to use it correctly. I would much love Gengar on the team, but unfortunately I can't make that possible. Well, I guess I can with the ultimate Pokemon randomizer. But anyways, I'm going to stick and hold off against having Gengar on the team. But Hunter's still not bad to have. Just got to use it right. I mean, it's good special attack and good speed. And then the other Pokemon that you can find here is a Cubone. It's a very low rate to catch Cubone, but it's not a bad Pokemon. It's a ground type. It's very, very defensive. But oh, let's see. Can we get this item? Awesome. Oh, rare candy. Nice. And then let's just try to maneuver our way through this. But Cubone is a defensive ground type. It's honestly not that bad. It will evolve into Marowak. Um, speaking of Marowak, remember in a couple of episodes ago when we talked to that one person and she said, poor Cubone's mother, it died, Team Rocket murdered the Marowak. Well, by using the Silph Scope, there it is. There's Marowak's mother. So 
Cubone will evolve into Marowak, and you know, it's a pretty average ground type. It's very defensive. It can hold its own attacking-wise, um, but there's much better ground type Pokemon that you can have, like Spike. So, but it's kind of average. It's not the best. It's not the worst. So, um, use it if you want. It's actually pretty cool. Like it will, you know, beat you down with clubs. Actually, for this Marowak, we can't catch it. We do have to defeat it, but one Razor Leaf, two Razor Leaf should do the job. So, like I said, with Bone Morang, it can hit us with the bone. So you do have to defeat this Marowak. You can't catch it. Um, but as you can see, Bone Morang is pretty powerful, and it's a pretty powerful Pokemon. Um, but that's it on the Marowak line, and that's it for all the Pokemon that you can catch here in Pokemon Tower. Ghastly, Haunter, and Cubone. So, not great, not terrible. And Littlefoot is now level 33. Awesome. The ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Is this item right here? It's not. So now we have to head up the stairs. We do have a couple of Team Rocket battles. Uh, actually, we haven't done any speed ups in a while. So let me go ahead and uh, you know do a little speed run uh, so we can take down these Rocket Grunts. And after defeating those Team Rocket Grunts, that was easy work. Now it's time to talk to Mr. Fuji. Huh? You came to save me? Thank you. But I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Awesome. Thank God we didn't have to use that maze again, although I did have an escape rope. Timmy B. Your Pokédex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokémon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. And we received the Poké Flute from Mr. Fuji. Upon hearing the Poké Flute, sleeping Pokémon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokémon that are sleeping obstacles. That's some good advice, Mr. Fuji. And speaking of sleeping Pokémon and sleeping obstacles, let's go use this Poké Flute on that sleeping Pokémon to the east of Vermilion City that we saw a couple of episodes ago that was blocking our way. I battled these fishermen right here with just a bunch of water Pokemon, so it was easy work with Usain and Shockwave. Now let's go ahead and use this Pokey Flute. Let's use Littlefoot for this one. Why not? Once you use the Pokey Flute, yes. Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Uh-oh. This is Snorlax, a large Pokemon with good attack and special defense and super duper high HP. So let's just poison it real quickly. So with the super high HP, you know, pretty defensive. This is certified fresh grade beef. Uh, this is a powerful, powerful Pokemon to have. It's a lot of fun Pokemon to have. And this is going to be the fourth team member of our team. Uh, we just got to catch it. So let's whittle this down. I don't want to do it too much just because we do have it poisoned. So after this tackle, I'll probably start throwing some Pokeballs at it. It's going to put us to sleep here. Um, but that won't be an issue since we'll just start throwing Pokeballs at it. I hope I actually do have Pokeballs. I should have bought some beforehand. We got a couple of great balls, so let's go ahead and use them. We only have three, so... Better catch it. Uh oh, it appeared to be caught. Uh oh. Come on, Snorlax. Get in the Pokeball. I'm gonna press B. Press B for luck. 
I really should have saved. I don't know why I didn't save. Uh-oh. Come on, Snorlax. Oh, no! Oh, come on. I don't have that many more opportunities right now. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. Come on. Come on, Snorlax. Come on. Oh, no, this is dead. This is dead. This is dead. Oh, now I need to throw a Pokeball at it? I really should have saved. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, but it did go to sleep. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm just going to take this down. There is another one, um, so we'll just go ahead and catch that one. I will see you when we get there. Okay, I'm at the other Snorlax, with the, which is just west of Celadon City, so we were going to have to battle it anyway. Um, so we're just going to catch this one. I did buy some more Great Balls, and I also saved, so if for whatever reason we don't catch this Snorlax, um, we'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, exile, come back in. So, let's play the Pokey, Pokey Flute. Wow, what a teaser. Alright, well Snorlax will be the fourth team member, unless for some reason I just can't catch this with, with my Great Balls. Um, but this is going to be level 30 again. It should probably know the same moves. Let's just go ahead and poison it again. Oh, his immunity prevents poisoning. Okay, this is actually going to be um, going to be harder to catch now. Okay. Um, let's Razor Leaf. Alright, I'm not going to show this whole thing. This might take a while, so I'll just show you when we catch him. And I finally caught Snorlax. He put me to sleep. He took down Usain. Uh, Splank actually had a critical double kick to take it down to Red Health, and uh, it didn't rest. So good thing that didn't elongate the battle. But Snorlax is on the team, and as I was saying, with uh, good attack and special defense, super high HP, this is certified fresh grade beef. Snorlax can also learn a lot by just about every TM worth using, so we're going to get very creative with him. I'm going to name him Chonk because he is a chonky boy. So welcome to the team, Chonk, and he is our fourth team member. So I will see you guys at the Celadon City Pokemon Gym since we are gonna take that down this episode. Okay guys, and we're back at the Celadon Gym. This gym is great, it's full of women. Okay, Mr. Creepy Man, but I forgot that we didn't check out Chonk, so let's go ahead and hit the summary button. Chonk is bold nature, and its ability is immunity, so it prevents poisoning, which is not a bad ability to have. It knows headbutt, yawn, rest, and snore. Uh, I'm going to look at the TMs that I have and get creative uh, in between episodes off screen, so Chonk is going to get some great moves very soon. Now it's time for the Celadon Gym. I went ahead and battled all the trainers that we need to battle to get to Erica, and Spike got all the way up to level 35, and is who we're pretty much gonna be using for this fight. Erica has Grass Poison type, so Peck is really the only thing that we have that's super effective against it, so we need to do that. Uh, my Pokemon are surely of the Grass type, I just said that. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. So anyway, as I was saying, Peck is the only thing that we have. It's not a powerful attack, but luckily Spike is powerful. And I gave Spike to hold a Cherry Berry because first out is Victory Bell, who will be level 29 and no Stun Spore, Acid, Poison Powder, and Giga Drain. And it's all but guaranteed that her first move is going to be Stun Spore since we can't get poison. So if we do get paralyzed, we don't. Um, but we have the Cherry Berry just in case we do, and Peck should take a couple of hits. Critical Peck. Critical peck hit, excuse me, and victory bell goes down. Next up will be Tangela, and Tangela will be level 24 and knows poison powder, constrict, ingrain, and giga drain. It can't poison me, so it's going to use ingrain to heal a little bit, which is uh, okay, I guess. Um, it might take a couple of pecks now, uh, especially if she heals with the potion, unless we get another critical peck. So let's see what we got here, Spike. Take it down for us. Awesome. Finally, her prized possession, her prized Pokemon, is a Vileplume. 
who is level 29 with the moves Sleep Pounder, Acid, Stun Spore, and Giga Drain. Spike is now level 36. So it could put us to sleep or it could paralyze us. Hopefully it just goes for the paralysis so our Cherry Berry can heal it. Let's see how much a peck does. Doesn't even do half health, just about it. Sleep Pounder and we're asleep. Wonderful. With the other moves that that Vile Plume has, we should be fine for a couple of turns. Let's just see how many times we are asleep before we have to, to look into doing items. Giga Drain can't do too much on us, I can't imagine. Alright, like 15, 22. Okay, so that's not bad. We'll see We'll see if, we, if we're if we asleep next turn, then I'll use an item uh, for the heal. Uh, items are allowed in battle, so... Come on, Spike, wake up. Wake up! Okay. Giga Drain again. That'll take us in the yellow. Let's, uh... One more. Wake up! There we go. Let's see what they do here. Giga Drain again. Ooh. Let's peck it down. Peck it down. She's gonna heal, so... Ah, there's the berry. So we are paralyzed, it did hit, but uh, this cherry berry right here is going to heal our paralysis. And let me, she's going to heal right here, so let me try to get in a hit before Spike goes down. I, I, I'm not too concerned right now. So after this first pack, let's get one more peck in, one more peck in. Ooh, down to a sliver, what are you going to do? Ah, uh, this is going to take me down guys, Spike is dead, or fainted. Oh, there we go. Spike, way to hold on, baby, with one HP left, and we take down Erica for the win. Let's go, Spike. Promise to Spike, everybody, smash that like button on this video because of Spike. Actually, comment, go Spike, if you want. But we defeated Erica. The Rainbow Badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. We got TM19, which is Giga Drain. Um, you saw and half the damage it inflicts is healed to your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? It's actually not a bad move. I might put it on Littlefoot. I haven't decided yet. Um, also, sorry for those who enjoyed my Lieutenant Surge impress impression, impersonation, impersonification, whatever. Um, sorry, I'm not going to do Erica. I'm not the best with female voices, and I don't, don't want to offend anybody. Um, but that'll end today's episode. We explored Pokemon Tower and beat our rival Craig. We got the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji. And we got our fourth team member, Chonk. And we got our fourth gym badge. Wow, the number of fours. Anyways, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel. A reminder, we have two more team members left. And if I get to 100 subscribers, you can choose the final team member. At the time of recording, I'm at 30, so get everyone you know to, to subscribe. Subscribe, excuse me. Don't forget to also like and comment on the video and ring the bell to be notified when all or some of my videos are released. Have a great day everyone and I will see you soon.